What is up everybody? It is another beautiful windy day here in Southern Utah and we are doing a towing test with the Tacoma today. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about it. Um, we got lots more good Tacoma content coming out. I bought this truck solely for the purpose of making content with it. So we're gonna be doing a bunch more of that. Make sure you follow. Got the Tacoma hooked up to this little trailer here. We are going to load the tractor on here and we're gonna haul it down to St. George and then we're gonna haul it back up the hill. That's kind of our testing loop. It's uh it's the same loop that I did for the gas mileage test. There's about a 2,000 foot change in elevation, and so we got some big hills, we got some nice terrain to test it on. Uh, we'll see what it does. So this is what we're towing today. It's a Kubota L2501. It's like a 25 horse little mini tractor. It's like a 52 inch bucket or so. <clears throat> this is just our little farm tractor. Uh, this guy weighs, from what I've found, it weighs about 2,600 pounds. And then that bucket attachment weighs like 1,000 pounds. I'm here to tell you, I'm used to backing that old big old girl, freaking school bus of a rig. This trailer reacts a lot faster than that one does. You turn the wheel and it is going the other way. struggle but we got the tractor on here we fell in this hole so that was exciting but we're on it's 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 squatting <laughs> but we'll get this tied down and we'll get going well that was an ordeal but we got her loaded we got her strapped down an hour later, I'm glad that hitch is strong because it tried to lift the back of the Tacoma off the ground. Here we go. All right, we are out on the main road here. Not going real fast, just got out of here. We just went down about a half mile of dirt road to get to the road. So far, about all I can tell is it's got plenty of power. Um, this tractor, like I said, weighs about 2,600 pounds loader weighs about a thousand pounds so you're 3600 pounds this trailer weighs about we'll call it 1500 pounds so about 5100 pounds um, so we're still 1400 pounds less than what the uh, towing the max tow capacity is on this truck so we're well underweight which is good um, I wanted to find something that was at max so that we could test it, but this is what I have, so we're going to tow the tractor. So, um, the other thing I was going to say is so far I can feel the, uh, I can feel the extra payload. This truck has 1,200 pounds of payload capacity. My 22 SR5 had like 980, um, I could put my 600 pound four wheeler in the bed of it and it would, it would hit bump stops. So I haven't hit any bump stops yet and I've got probably more than 600 pounds on the tongue of this trailer right now. It's going right along, it's going good. So down the road a little bit and I'll check back in with you. This is my first hill, this is a pretty good hill. My little 2012 Lexus takes everything she's got to maintain speed going up this so 
Speed limit 65, we're doing it 58. Not pushing real hard. It is making all the boost you can, so. It's going good though. 3,500 RPM. The old V6 would have been 6,000 RPM. So, and I've got some clips of towing with that truck I can throw in this video somewhere. So, first hill. Good eight success. The other thing I was gonna say is I'm kind of a data nerd. When I'm towing, I like as much information as possible, um, which is part of why I like all the screens and all the tech and everything that's in this truck. I like I like information. So this truck has a towing page that's preset. You can change everything in here, um, but this towing page is pretty cool. So you got this towing page here. You got your battery voltage, oil pressure, engine temperature, transmission temperature, and you got engine temperature down there again. The only thing I wish this had was a boost gauge. I feel like that's the only thing that it's missing for information, but this is a way better readout for information than the old, the old Tacoma. So I do like that. We also reset the fuel mileage just went to 17 it was a zero we reset the fuel mileage so we can see what kind of mileage we get in towing my hypothesis is this is gonna have plenty of power it's gonna tow really good uh, I don't think we're gonna have any issues especially where we're 1400 pounds underweight I think it's gonna do great um, I think we're gonna get about 8.6 miles per gallon that's my that's my prediction so we'll see how that goes look at all that orange Cute little tractor just hanging out. Hey there, little guy. So we're at the top of our first downhill. We're going 59, we're gonna slow down. We're gonna do kind of a TFL thing, so that's one brake application. Slow down to 50. There you go. Going down this hill. This is the hill in the gas mileage video uh, that we were going up, that we did the cruise control test where it shifted one time. This is the same hill, we're just going down this time. We're going to be going back up here in just a second, but 62, our second brake application. We geared down, that's nice. Oh, geared down again, dang. bottom of the hill now two brake applications not bad it's not real not a real long hill but it's real steep so I do like that it geared down twice that's pretty cool this tow haul mode is pretty good um, obviously that's something that Tacoma hasn't had before <clears throat> I have some clips of my 22 Tacoma towing right about 6,500 pounds going up this hill um, and it was not a happy camper Something that I wished I had was the tow haul. This trailer I found out doesn't have brakes. I haven't felt like I've needed them. I definitely felt like I needed them in the other one. Um, so, anyway, this is kind of a comparison video between my old one and this one. It's not really what it was supposed to be, but we're just driving. This one is much more enjoyable to be in. It's stable, um, that extra width really helps. So, obviously, a main thing with small trucks, it's not a heavy duty, it doesn't have tow mirrors. I think it would probably look stupid with tow mirrors. So, but with the extra width, um, I can see better with this one than I could the other one. All right, we made it to town. I'm gonna stop and get gas because we burned a bunch of it. But we're getting 33 miles per gallon going down the hill, so that's cool. Uh, we're here at the gas station, we're gonna fill up. Pulling out of the gas station, we're full. Tow haul, ready to go. Going up our first hill here. Speed limit's 55. Geared down once, twice. Plenty of power. Got a lot more left. I like it. So 
So this tow haul mode and eight speed automatic work really well, it seems like for towing. It's since I've been going back up the hill, it's been chilling right around that 2300 RPM mark. Obviously the issue with the old three, five and six speed is the gear hunting. And that was the exact issue that I had when I towed with the 22. Um, going up this hill, you get up to the speed you want it to get to and then it shifts up and you lose all your power and then it's got to shift back down. And it was such a pain. Other thing is it didn't have tow haul mode. So I would either put it in ECT power or I would just shift it manually because that was really the only way that you could even get it to go down the road smoothly. Um, this tow haul mode is really nice. On top of that, you have an eight speed, but um, it's just been holding right there the whole the whole way up. It's not shifting, it's not hunting for gears or anything. Um, so as far as at least having tow haul mode, that's super nice. I also have the trailer brake controller, which is right here, that little guy. Um, it's not doing anything for me right now because this trailer doesn't have trailer brakes. So it also keeps saying, oh, it's gone now, but it keeps saying trailer malfunction. But um, yeah, this trailer doesn't have trailer brakes. I haven't really felt like I've needed them. I just slow down early and it's not a problem. Um, but towing 6,500 pounds with the other one, I sure, I definitely felt like I needed them. And I'm sure I would on this too. But an extra thousand, 1,400 pounds makes a difference for sure. Yeah, that's my thought on the tow haul. So we're at the bottom of the big hill here. This hill's big enough that I've had like big diesel trucks struggle pulling, I mean, obviously big trailers, but I mean, it's a big hill, so. We'll go up this hill, see what our temps and everything are like. pulled back in at home temperatures are all looking good there's a lot of videos out there where uh, they're saying that they're overheating and stuff like TFL overheated a little bit pulling their trailer I didn't have any issues with that it wasn't a real extreme towing deal here but it was you know I had some good hills and whatnot um, so no overheating good news and then for gas mileage we got 11 miles per gallon that's good 
the uh the 22 pulling the load that i pulled with it it did uh nine miles per gallon so 11's not bad so anyway we're back here in the garage unhooked trucks back where it lives um in conclusion on this video um to answer the question will it farm truck yes i think it will uh it towed pretty well i was actually pretty impressed with it um it's a little rough it rides it rides rough which it rides rough normally but i don't know i mean so it was a little rough uh it was pretty saggy um it squatted pretty bad um if i was going to be doing that a lot i would definitely put bags on it um but Overall, it did really good. I was really impressed. They had lots of power. The cooling was good. Um, the tow haul mode was money. Um, it shifted when it needed to, held the gear all the way. It was never hunting for gears or anything. Um, I really liked how it did uh, as far as like performance, like power and the powertrain and everything. I was really happy with that. Um, but yeah, I think uh, these are super tough little trucks. I've, I've always loved the little Tacomas, but um, I know a ton of people that actually have Tacomas as like their little farm truck, uh, which is kind of what got me thinking about this. Will the new one, will the new one farm truck? And I think it will. So anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Uh, drop in the comments what you would like to see in the future. Anything that you, any thoughts you had about the video? Uh, anyway. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.